हेलो चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू आर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ एनवायरमेंट स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ लेसन थ्री फ्रॉम टेस्टिंग टू डाइजेशन ओके चिल्ड्रन डू यू नो द डिफरेंट फूड टेस्ट इज डिफरेंट ऑन अवर टंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैगरी विच इज़ वेरी स्वीट वेल बिटर गॉड दैट इज करेला इट इज़ वेरी बिटर टंग इज वन ऑफ द सेंस ऑर्गन and it gives a sense of taste you know even with our eyes closed we can taste and identify different kinds of food different kinds of taste even we can identify and recognize different kind of food items not only by its taste but also by its smell do you know the children like you they love to eat food items that for example chocolate which is very sweet then chips wafer which is very salty ice cream samosas raw mangoes etc and do you like to eat only one kind of food or different why we like to eat different kind of food because only one kind of food makes us bored so we like to eat different taste of food that is sweet salty bitter salt all kind of taste we like to eat we know that our tongue help us in tasting different taste but that there are but there are some places in our tongue where we can recognize a particular taste more than that other taste for example at the tip of our tongue can recognize sweet taste the upper side portion of our tongue recognizes salty taste and above it we can recognize sour taste bitter taste can be recognized near our throat area that is why we get bitter taste not only during swallowing bitter medicines okay student do you know what is saliva saliva is a liquid which is there in our mouth and when the food is mixed with that saliva we get the taste and if our mouth is dry we will not able to get any kind of taste okay children just stand in front of a mirror and look closely to your tongue can you see small small tiny bumps on your tongue you can see in that picture okay there are small small bumps on your tongue that is called a taste buds and taste buds are re responsible for the salty bitter sweet sour taste what happens to the food after it enters our mouth first we chew the food our teeth help us to chew the food and make it into a fine paste so that we can swallow it easily but meanwhile our saliva is also there which mix with the food and makes it soft our tongue help us in four ways first it helps the food to move from left to right and right to left for proper chewing second it helps to mix the saliva with the food third it pushes back the food for swallowing and the fourth it helps to taste our food okay children what do you mean by digestion digestion is the change of food into your stomach and it is used by your body and we eat food why we eat food because by eating the food we get it tasty we get different type of taste okay children do you know where does this food goes inside your body and what from what what you what do you get from it the food goes inside our body and we get energy the food directly goes into your stomach and it get digested okay and what does it do into your body and how does it go it goes into when you eat food it goes straight into your stomach and from there it moves by the long food pipe and it gets digestion and it is called a digestive system let us understand the digestive system properly first the food enters into a long tube which is called food pipe 
then the food enters our stomach here the food digested and then enters in small intestine and through small intestine again the undigested food passes through the large intestine and then finally the waste of all food items get out through our body through the anus this is called digestive system okay children how do you feel when you are very hungry okay when we are very hungry our stomach start paining our head feels like dizzy we feel uneasiness when we are very hungry okay we feel different also we feel strange also sometimes when we are really very much hungry our stomach start making some kind of noise okay why we made a solution of sugar and salt why do you think this is this is given to someone who has vomiting and loose motion in case of vomiting and loose motion the amount of water salt and sugar decreases in the body which can be dangerous so salt and sugar solution is given to replenish the loss okay children have you heard the word glucose and do you know what is the difference between glucose and glucose trip glucose we have to mix with water make a solution and drink it after drinking it will go it will go our to our stomach and from stomach the glucose water will get digested after digestion the glucose will mix into the blood and it will give us some energy but after sometimes where is the glucose trip is a glucose water present in a bottle kind of thing and through a thin pipeline and a needle the glucose water is given straight into our blood the glucose mix with our blood straight away and give instant energy within a minute let me tell you one experiment which was done by dr beumont in 1822 an 18 year old soldier named martin got shot into in the stomach he was treated by dr beumont who clean and dress the wound a year and half later his stomach had a big hole with just a loose flap over it the doctor realized that he could extract food and stomach liquid from the hole he used this to carry out experiment to understand digestion he recorded the time it took martin to digest food different food items he also extracted some of the stomach liquid find out that food would dissolve in this liquid even outside the body dr beumont found that although food would dissolve outside the body digestion was faster inside the body there are many factors that affect the digestion of food food is churned inside the stomach it is also affected by our emotions the stomach also has acids that help us in digestion i hope children that you, you must have understood this much let me explain you the flow chart food and the food has food is divided into five categories first is tasting food we taste the food with the help of our tongue and i told you before also that on our tongue we have a tiny tiny small bumps it is called taste buds as bump on surface and with that we get the different tastes for example sweet sour bitter salty next is chewing we chew the food with our teeth and for biting and chewing food teeth is very useful and saliva mix with the food makes it soft and easy to swallow when we are very hungry we had headache we feel very tired we become angry also sometimes now if the food rejected by the body what happens first we had vomiting and loose motion and if this both are together then we feel weakness and for that what is given glucose drip or ors ors is a salt and sugar in water or is it it is used with salt and sugar in water 
Next, age-specific food. Age-specific means children which are very small and old people. They usually love to eat, they usually like to eat food which is soft because if it food is soft, they can eat properly and it should be well cooked. So that if, if it is soft, it is cooked properly, it will get, and will get nutri nutritious food. Glucose strip and ORS. What is the full form of ORS? Oral rehydration solution. And you know it is a it is in the form of powder. And it is the mixture of salt and sugar in water. Next is age specific food. Age specific food means the food which is used by children and old people. They usually like to eat soft, well cooked food which give nutritious to them, nutritious food. Because small children, they are not able to eat the food which is very hard and old people also. So they need the food which is very soft, which is cooked also very properly so that they will get nutritious food. I hope children that you must have understood the whole lesson. Thank you.